Um, okay, so... Yeah, here we go. So this is top 10 scary videos to uh, ruin sleepy time. My sleepy time is always ruined, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it's from Nukestar, top 5 again. Go give him a like on the video and subscribe. And, um, yeah, come and uh, come over and like my... Uh, like and subscribe to my channel as well. And let me know if you like this uh, in the comments below, if you like this kind of content. All right, let's uh, let's check it out. Pretty good actor compared Talking to the rest. He was, yeah, he was. On camera, lurking in the woods. Don't want to spend two hundred on Justin yeah, Bender's it's a lot. TikTok account is dedicated to cars, bikes, do-it-yourself projects, and his family. Absolutely nothing paranormal or supernatural. However, okay, that's good. That's a good. That's a good start. I feel if you. If your channel is 100% based on paranormal activity, you're just looking for it and you're like, oh, look, this fucking thing just moved. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, it must be stressful having, if your channel is purely based around things you go through, it must be hard to find content, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of made it make, makes it a bit more legit in my, in my eyes. We may or may not uh, share streaming services. <laughs> Three months ago, Justin content bought himself good. a 2002 you Nissan like Xterra. Yeah and filmed himself Thank as he man. installed brand new reverse lights. Today I'm putting some rear LED lights on my Nissan x -Tier. These are the flush mount LEDs I bought off of eBay. They're pretty cheap. The lights are installed. I'm gonna take them back out and paint the bumper. So one of Justin's viewers asks how well the reverse lights work at night. And Justin drives out into the dark woods near a lake Jason in Chief North Carolina me. to show just how bright the lights are. Yeah, your camera just glitched, Liam. I'm going, oh no, my camera just glitched. <laughs> I need a new, mate, I'm, I'm scared that my camera's gonna break Our, on me soon. His TikTok viewers are shocked when the reverse lights illuminate something downright chilling. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere, but I can find a place to go test them. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tin foil over the reverse lights. So I'm going to show you what the stock reverse lights look like, and then I'm going to uncover them and show you what the added reverse lights look like. You've seen like. this one like 10 These times, are really. The stock reverse lights. Literally can't see anything. And these are the ones I just installed. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these are not just for looks. I missed Did that. Did you see it? As Justin turns on the lights, an arm wrapped around a tree can be seen sliding its way slowly out of sight. Oh shit, yeah. After many comments from freaked out viewers, Justin finally- Oh my god, that's so fucking weird. He sees the arm and decides to Someone go back to investigate the oh, during shit. the day. Oh no. Okay, I'm leaving call. work. Two blocks that way is where the arm was. Did you see it? <laughs> okay, this road goes down to the lake, which is right there in a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. What are they doing out in the pitch well, black? Yeah, back. just in the and woods, hugging trees. The tree with the stick leaned up against it. As you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time. Mostly trash, but a lot of animal carcasses too. Dumping animal carcasses? What the fuck's going on there? Like shit, I've been caught hugging trees. <laughs> <laughs> My secret's out. And this is the tree. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and here we are behind the tree. It's where my x chair was back then. I'm about 5'10". Yeah, I like to dump animal carcasses in random areas. I'm not a very superstitious person, so you're not going to get much out of me. <laughs> I just think, you know, if anything... Where are they getting these animal carcasses you know, from? Somebody back here? Now, even after all of that, Justin still believes the arm simply could have belonged to someone that happened to be out in the dark woods. It's definitely a hand, isn't it? It's but definitely like an what arm. What do you like... think? Could it be a creature, a ghost, or perhaps even creepier? Is it just someone hiding in the dark woods? You do Let get me that, know man. You get down people... in the comments. Uh, to all kind of naughty things. Introducing the dog in over here. <laughs> a traditional wallet on the outside. It hides a few tricks on the- Not even joking, you get people just hanging beyond. around in the woods, like... <laughs> yeah, you get people 
There's a there's a place called uh, Clifton Downs where I'm from. Sam might have been Sam would have been there obviously because it's like famous and massive. But uh, at night, you like if you're in the near if you're near the woods, people just fucking just wandering around in, at night in the woods and stuff. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, buy that wallet. <laughs> I don't even know. If, I thought that was a butter advert, wasn't it? Are they mental? I don't. I, I can't really talk about it on stream, but um, I'll tell you about it later. And yeah, this well, next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer Peter Canova. Peter explains in his email that his friend was remodeling a house in Des Moines, Iowa, that had been abandoned for over ten years. Peter's friend shared a chilling video that was recorded by a tile installer named Javier. Day, daytime wouldn't scare me too much, you know. Vengo escuchando un a cry. un llanto como de niño. Niño. Oh my god, that I wasn't sure if that was my daughter crying then, just then. El pedo es de que aquí en la casa esta. Like that was well convincing. No hay están están todos los cuartos vacíos. Like it could be from next door though. The thin walls, you know. Me da miedo ir al basement, pero. Sound terrifying, people just wandering around in the woods, yeah. Deja <coughs> checar. Not a cry, that's creepy. Neighbor, yeah, could be a neighbor, could be could be thin walls. Do you know what I mean? Could be some plasterboard wall. <coughs> Depends on the house, like, obviously that's not over in, in England. In England, a lot of time we have... It's... We build out of like it's bricks and mortar basically, but if if you go to some places that are like flats and stuff like that that are either built cheaper and you know or certain areas where they haven't used the best quality stuff, uh, you can you can literally hear someone like having a conversation with their like wife watching TV. Do you know what I mean? Like I've I've had that before. So if a baby crying, you'd be you'd be able to hear that, you know. Well, that sounds kind of like they're in the house, doesn't it? Hola. Oh my god. It sounds really close, it does. Oh my god. That's coming from that fucking room. That's coming from that room, 100%. Oh, yeah, that sound was coming from inside there. Wait, no. Oh. Mames. <laughs> Good one. No mames. Oh my god. The loud cries of a child can be heard coming from the basement. What the hell? Javier checks every room but finds no one. Suddenly, there's an unexplained loud bang from somewhere, and Javier makes a run for it. Javier refuses to ever return. I think he hit his foot on that metal thing at the end there, and I, it made it seem like he was getting like attacked as well. But to the house again. Poor Javier. Wait, no mames. That's a good one, though. That was quite Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Terence Leonio from Windsor, Ontario, Canada often goes out into the woods to record himself overtone singing for TikTok was a good one. That was a and good one. YouTube. One day he decides to stream live, and as he starts to sing, he seems to capture the attention of a passing deer. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. Alright. Oh. Fuck. What? He's good at that. What is that? Look at that fucking and thing. And there's the deer. Do you see that? But 
Do you see that thing right next to it on the left? Did you see it? Terence seems to have caught the attention of something else lurking in the woods. Several strange, slim figures seem to be hiding in the trees behind the deer. Terence's TikTok viewers believe the mysterious creatures could be cryptids, Sasquatch, or even skinwalkers. Okay. <laughs> skinwalkers, cryptids, or a Sasquatch. But what do you think Terence's singing could have summoned from the deep Canadian woods? That looks more just like a... Probably a ghost, isn't it, more than anything? Although it is moving all... Keep is the only digital weird. insights platform that combines a complete set of behavior... A doorway. This next bizarre clip comes from Skin a small walkers. YouTube channel that is not about even more necessarily it could be just dedicated to ghost idea, hunting but... or the supernatural. Partners Rain and Jenna post random videos to their personal channel, Sinister RP. These videos range from art and music to their own personal passion, which is exploring haunted places. Now, Rain and Jenna do not claim that they are, quote, Wide professional range. ghost hunters. In fact, they are a bit skeptical themselves, and they even invite their viewers to debunk any paranormal evidence that they find. When we go out, we don't always find the craziest stuff. I mean, let us know. I mean, let us know what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, by all means, if we can debunk this, I would love to be able to. And if we can't, I mean, I'd love that even more. But there is one video. The problem is, people get too scared while doing it, and then they can't debunk it. Like I was saying on that last one, where that guy, where the ball came out. So all you had to do is just run towards it. I know you don't want to do it, but if you're there trying to debunk it, you know. Yo, in particular, that even the couple and their YouTube that viewers that house cannot is explain. <laughs> First. The couple captures some odd sounds in this abandoned farmhouse. This time, we ended up uh, capturing something else, something really weird. What the hell was that? What? You heard a squeak, I was... Uh... No, I heard a bang. Hello? Oh, he's got... Not much else happens. You're seeing stuff in your house, then, <laughs> by accident, the couple captures this. This guy's voice is in my head. Yeah, it was deep. I was like that fucking... His voice scared me more than anything. Oh, they've got the, the little cat toy thing. Did you see it? No. Nope. Some dark humanoid shape seems to appear near the door. And then quickly moves away and disappears into nothing. Okay. Rain and Geno try to debunk the figure and even invite their audience to do the same. Now, of course, uh, the first thing that's running through my head is mm, that might be one of her shadows, but. And that's what's still been going through my head, but I don't know. You know, everybody else now. So I just saw saying, a head peer around the corner outside not, my room. That's not your shadow. Corner of my eye. <laughs> And Shit. If you watch, we haunted Sam's house. I move and it stays still. And then it moves and disappears. But <laughs> there is just no rational explanation. So, what do you think? Sammy getting paranoid. Check out this full video <laughs> over on the YouTube channel. That Sinister one, I, all of those ones, RP. I'm not I'm ever too sure. Urban exploration gone wrong. Urban explorer Andy Persons heads out to Albany, New York to see the old Tobin's First Prize Center, which is a meatpacking facility that was built in nice 1924 <laughs> and was later left completely abandoned. Together with his two friends, he makes his way through the massive old crumbling factory. This is what I want to do, man. I want to get a little... I want to get a full setup. GoPros. Get some ghost stuff. Oh, did I ever tell you about one time when my... Me and my... Alright, so basically me and my mates... We actually were at a funeral, my, uh, a fr like we were at a friend's funeral, and then we came back to his house after, and um, he had this little ghost thing. Like this is completely off topic. We weren't trying to. I know I just sounds like I wasn't even thinking about that, but he had this. He had this little ghost thing. Like he wants to do this kind of stuff, and he uh, leave. He will leave it on during like the night to hear if anything said, like a like a dictaphone kind of thing, and um, we were all um, drinking around his. And we left it on, and um, like during the night or whatever. And the next day, me and him went to a barbecue, and uh, I was like, "Okay, we need to." He was like, "Let's." He was in the car with me basically, 
and my daughter was screaming, like screaming her head off when we were when we were getting there the next morning. And um, he goes, we were brought this up in conversation, and we're like, he's like, actually, let's listen to what we what happened last night. Let's listen to the noise because he had it in his pocket still. I was like, all right, then. And he played it, and all we could hear was like just screaming, screaming, and we were looking at each other like, oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Well, then we didn't realise that what happened is when my daughter was screaming, he lent he lent on it in the car, and it was just my daughter screaming her head off. <laughs> but because he didn't realise he recorded that, when he played it, we were both like, Shh, we both completely shit ourselves. It was fucking mad. But yeah, I want to get some of that stuff. I want to get it'll be it'll be fun to do something like this, you know. Welcome back, Ru. Welcome back, our infamous. And he discovers something truly unnerving, because they might not be the only ones there. This is the fun part. Imagine if you bumped into another team of paranormal investigators. So this is where things kind of got a little weird. We were coming down these staircases, and I shined my flashlight to the left, and out of the corner could of the my eye, a ghost hunt? all I could see was That'd someone in a black trench coat quickly rush over through the door and hide in the corner. Yeah, I'd love to do something like that. Oh, yeah. I take it really serious. I shine my flashlight down the elevator shaft that was right next to me and all of a sudden we all started hearing a bunch of voices and just people that were inside of the Strange. walls. Yeah, man. You should play uh, Phasmophobia. I've seen, yeah, I've seen a lot of people playing that. Maybe in the future. We'll get through Resident Evil first. We just decided to get out there pretty quickly and, and let them be. A man who seems to be wearing a dark trench coat quickly disappears out of sight. Then the group hears voices coming from the walls all around them. Spooked by the creepy event, they decide to just get out of there. Now, whether what they caught is paranormal, I'm not sure. But as I've said before, sometimes real people are much more frightening. Anyway, if you, start you can watch it. the entire exploration of this well, creepy abandoned yeah, factory yeah, over I'm on the YouTube channel. I'm not sure at the moment. I've got so many games persons. to play at the moment, but uh, yeah. I'll let you know if I do. I'd play. Okay, cool. Well, like, how many people can you have? Glass. Late one night, TikTok user Apple DeCastro decides to weigh herself on a scale in her family home in the Philippines. She stands in front of a mirror, and what Four, happens okay. next is truly bizarre. <laughs> what the fuck? Her own reflection just kind of... was kind of scary. <laughs> Filming it on a brick again. Oh look, they're not that thing's not moving. Oh, was I seeing that right? I need to turn my lights off. <laughs> Apple's reflection in the mirror seems to move yeah, out of time with her body. Now, of course, this could just be a weird CCTV compression glitch. But her brother Joshua actually sees it happen with his own eyes. Another this camera angle records his reaction. <laughs> I thought, yeah, it was. Like, it wasn't... The quality is so bad and distorted, who knows? Yeah, I know, true. <laughs> that was fucking weird, but uh, again, could be something to do with the hinges. He looked at that like, <laughs> did you see that? Joshua can't believe what he's seeing, and he quickly they have goes these to warn his cameras sister. And yeah, true. Together, they check the footage recorded by their CCTV I don't know, cameras to be honest, and post their creepy experience do do to it, TikTok. 
They live in a like, so could this be like, a rough glitch in the matrix, like or a haunted mirror, and stuff. or just a really, really strange camera glitch? As always, I leave it to you to decide. I'm so fucking paranoid, Samson. No I entry. As with most <laughs> Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. The clip shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even though I feel like Japan's got a good amount of ghosts going on over there. Like we were saying, England's got a lot of ghosts. I feel like Japan's got a lot of ghosts as well. Oh, well, there's tape at the entrance saying no entry. The two friends step inside anyway. Nah, no redeems, what happens no next redeems, uh, is absolutely infamous, terrifying. I'll be AFK for a bit, gonna eat some. Yeah, no worries, bye, Zan. Enjoy the food, mate. It's very spacious here. It's very spa This guy likes the space. It's like spacious rooms, yeah. Other guys like, this is weird. He's like, this spacious room. Mm, yes, yeah, very spacious room. Oh my days. Help us. A mysterious woman wearing a white dress silently approaches Help the two us. friends from the darkness. She seems to have no visible arms. The two guys run in fear and scream for help. What the fuck? What happens next, we'll just never know. And whether the footage is real or not, that's up for you to I'd decide. Rough. <laughs> Either way, the clip is chilling. Oh, what is well, mate? Night shift. This next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer Zoe from Perth, Australia. Zoe says that she's That's a registered creepy, nurse working in the night shift. Yeah, like at anyone can do that, you know. She says that there do is one particular room take in the from, nursing uh, home that gives the entire. St by the way, do you record this or do you take it from stream? So yeah, it's like so. This is is it's from stream, and then I cut I cut the stream down into into bits. Have you done, Staff, William? The creeps. <laughs> The staff says that they feel watched while in the room, and that the room often feels extremely cold for no reason. Some have even witnessed chairs moving around by themselves. One night, Zoe and the rest of the staff are gathered in the office when Sorry, they notice Sam. something very strange on the CCTV. Hey, so do I. <laughs> I feel watched. It's me every night. I went right across the camera, that. Because I'm streaming, yeah, I know. <laughs> the lights in the room start to flicker and dim in a bizarre pattern, and then some dark shape seems to pass in front of the camera, not once. Right, I tell you what that twice. could be, yeah, it's going to sound weird, but that now, could, could this be, be something be. paranormal, or just a strange lighting malfunction? Something underneath the and bloody. Uh... Just what are those two dark shapes? That could shapes? be a cat's tail going across tell the front. Tell me what of the... you think. That could be a something underneath the, the camera next door like a shelf paranormal a investigators knl from the youtube channel knl ghost hunters spend the night at the historic red lion hotel in colchester england Video distortion built way back in 1465 issues, yeah. it's no surprise that the hotel has a long history of tragic events and paranormal activity just that looks old to give one this. example several hundred years ago a horrible fire ravaged the hotel and took the lives of several young children these days, oh, it's said that the spirit of a young boy wanders the restaurant of the hotel. He is often seen and photographed by guests. Most 
I'm getting shivers down my spine and everything here. <laughs> Something just touched my arm. First <laughs> of all, the spirit of the young boy is often seen by children. K and L leave a static. They say that, don't they? They say that kids pick up on things better, or you know, pick up on things a lot. Can see things that we can't see, and animals like dogs and stuff. A camera to record in the restaurant as they investigate the basement of the hotel. Later, when they check their footage, they are shocked by what they've caught. It's about a, did you say six year old kid before? That was about the, the right height. A small head about the height of a young child can be seen peeking through the glass windows of one of the restaurant doors. Paranormal investigators K&L believe that they might have captured the spirit of the young boy that guests claim to have seen over the years. But what do you think this small figure could be? Could Let be me know. know. You know what I mean? That could actually be a young boy. You can watch this entire boy. investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel K&L Ghost Hunters. Dead in the water. In another strange video shared to the internet without a source, Someone can be seen taking off their shoes after having walked through a waterfall in Malaysia and discovering small clumps of leeches stuck to their feet. And if that isn't horrifying enough, there's something else in this video that's very disturbing. Oh my god, fuck that. That's fucking horrible, isn't it? That was scary enough. Thank you very much. Did you see it? Someone or something can be seen sitting on a rock oh, inside the yeah. waterfall. Whoever Fuck. or whatever it is appears to be wearing a white dress and has long dark hair and dark arms. Now, without a source, it's impossible to establish whether this footage is real, fake, or even explainable. But let me know I mean, your could thoughts that just be the rocks? down in the comments. I, Definitely does look them. Thanks so much Tell for watching my upload yeah, yeah. schedule. It's kind of weird these well, days. You'd have to keep so them on. You don't hit the want them subscribe button and the bell you. so you never miss a video. My Instagram is there. My Twitter there is go, there. Go check them out. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my uh, on the video as well. If you like the, if you like this uh, kind of um, content. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.